hasn't succeeded is because he knows that he will never ever be able to succeed with me. So he, he's a smart man and gave it up. I'm here. Actually, what you're seeing is a partial success of it. <laughs> <laughs> you're not the therapist I'm seeing. <laughs> Don't take credit for something you haven't done. That's why it's only partial. <laughs> okay. Touche. First of all, I'm not wearing two hats. I, I am till January 31st on the city council member of the 44th district. And uh, as long as I'm here, I, I will, I'm proud to be able to retain that title. And hopefully, even after I'm gone, I'm going to call different people and say, hi, it's Councilman Felton. They won't remember the difference and be able to get help when I need it. But, but it is an honor and will continue to be honored to serve here. One of, the, one of my earlier memories was working with Chief Gallo, in fact, on fire prevention. It was one of, one of the proudest moments in my career because usually people call Solar, they call the fire department, and everyone else here when there's a crisis. Uh, you usually don't get calls to say uh, thank you, which is why it's so wonderful to be here today. But that's how it works. But that particular project was about fire safety, which we did with the, with the largest parochial school, I believe, in the country, uh, the Ben Jacob of Brooklyn. And we did that with the children. We spent time with Chief Gallo and children from Base Jaco to try to spend time educating children <coughs> and their families, obviously, for fire safety. So it's a particular pleasure to be here. I would just add that in general, there's a concept uh, called chesed shalemis, which means kindness of truth, which usually is talked about when it comes to the respect that's given to the dead, because <coughs> that you will never ever receive the, anything in return. Whatever you do for a dead person, you never ever receive anything in return. I, I dare say that the work that the firemen and women do on behalf of the people of this city could be, we'll ask the Chief Rabbi of Galicia, could be, could be, could be uh, deemed the same thing. Because firefighters that go in uh, risking their lives on a call uh, are really performing an act of kindness that we certainly hope will never ever be repaid. Certainly not by the people you're serving in Borough Park. I would just say that a lot of the children want to be hot solar guys. They're, they want to be shoreman, maybe policemen. There's something about Orthodox Jewish children and firemen that just don't go along. They, you know, they love you and respect you, but that's not where they want to be. They don't want to be in the fires. They may want to be chasing the cars down the street or something else like that. It's just. That's the, that's the story, and it's a good thing that the city of New York does not have any sort of requirements, which I, I am entirely opposed to, but I don't want to make this a political thing, but I always like to say something controversial. I am entirely opposed to any sort of requirements in hiring for any particular group of any sort. The most capable people should be hired for jobs, and that's all that should matter. Period. That's that's all that should matter. And certainly when it comes, certainly when it comes to the security and safety of the city. Having said something that I, I'm sure that Yehuda Eckstein is going to put on his blog, Shiva World News, immediately, it's my my deep, deep honor to be here today. Am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to do this? Or I don't know. It's my deep honor, probably one of the last times I'll have this opportunity. I thought that they were going to give me a surprise plaque. I, we talked about it, we planned about it, somebody messed it up. But it's my distinct honor to participate with Atsolo and everyone else in presenting Chief Michael Gala with a beautiful, beautiful plaque. see from his reaction, he wasn't surprised at all either. <laughs> yeah, come in the middle so we get, we get everybody.